Hey guys and welcome to an another episode of Short Film Saturday where today we'll be looking at a short film called The Eleven O'Clock. As I mentioned before, today's episode is on the short film The Eleven O'Clock. It follows a psychiatrist who meets a new patient, the delusional man who believes he's also a psychiatrist, and the session quickly becomes out of control as they both try to outdo each other. I found the film really funny to watch as these two guys try to outdo each other and as we try and work out which one is really the psychiatrist and we end up of course end up finding out who really is the psychiatrist at the end of the film. By the time the film ended I still did have a couple of questions regarding the film. It's like with the real psychiatrist being kicked out because of the events, did he actually get arrested or did he just get kicked off the premises? Did the temp receptionist get in any sort of trouble after she realized, oh shit, that's not the real psychiatrist in the office. It's the guy that's in there is actually the patient, not a professionally trained psychiatrist. And I also feel like as if the security guy would have known or at least had some idea of who the actual psychiatrist was if he'd seen the guy regularly enough going in and out of the building and why didn't anyone check the degrees that were on the wall to say who was the actual psychiatrist that way everyone would have realized oh yeah it's a so-and-so who's actually the psychiatrist and the other guy is actually a patient. The setting for the film takes mostly in the office of the psychiatrist with a few bit scenes in the reception area and I found that while the office for the psychiatrist was convincing felt that the reception area could have had a little bit more done to it to make it a bit more convincing maybe a few more magazines on table or something and because the office or the psychiatrist office seems to be in part of a a larger building office. You would have seen a few more people wandering the corridors near the psychiatrist's office because I feel that there would have been a few people wandering around near the offices during the day or something but otherwise the setting in that was fine. I thought the acting in the film was rather good particularly with Josh Lawson who played Dr. Phillips, Damon Harriman, I believe that's how his name's pronounced, um, who plays Dr. Klein, he was rather good, as well as Jess Donahue who played Linda. I thought those three were rather good in terms of their acting skills throughout the film. The camera work in the film was really well done. There maybe could have been a few more variety of shots throughout the film, but other than that, I thought the film was done rather nicely. The lighting for the film was done rather well as well and helped give the look for the film at the end of the day. The editing of the film was done rather nicely. I'm not sure how much or if at all if the film was colour graded or not, but either way the editing of the film looks rather nice and the shots are added together rather well. The sound editing for the film was done rather nicely as well and helped set the tone for the film. 
Overall, I thought the film was really nicely done and is one I definitely recommend people go and watch. And like every other film, I'll leave a link to it in the description below for people to go and watch themselves. And I rate this film a 4.5 out of 5. Thanks guys for tuning in today and I hope to see you guys next time. Remember, if you'd like to see a short film reviewed, please leave a suggestion down below and I'll do my best to get to it.